あえいおうあえいおうはい。Rainbow passage. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. There is, according to legend, a boiling pot of gold at one end. People look, but no one ever finds it. When a man looks for something beyond his reach, his friends say he's looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Throughout the centuries, people have explained the rainbow in various ways. Some have accepted it as a miracle without physical explanation. To the Hebrews, it was a token that there would be no more universal flutes. The Greeks used to imagine that it was a sign from the gods to foretell war or heavy rain. The Norsemen considered the rainbow as a bridge over which the gods passed from earth to their home in the... When the sunlight strikes rainbows in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. There is, according to legend, a boiling pot of gold out at one end. People look, but no one ever finds it. When one looks for something beyond reach, his friends say he is looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Hello, my name is Maya and I'm a 23-year-old male to female transgender woman. I started my transition in 2011 in September and I had the voice feminization surgery in Korea in 2012, in September as well. Um, how did you find out about Yusun Voice Center? Um, I, found about, uh, I found out about it by um, searching YouTube for post-operative, post-operation um, clips of voices. And I found, out, I found this patient who has undergone this surgery and I was completely baffled by it. Um, could you tell us about the surgery you received? Um, yeah, I was first prepped before the surgery, the IV and the constant forms. Um, then I was taken to the, to the actual operating room where I was given a general anesthesia. And um, I blacked out. <laughs> and after, after waking up, I felt um, soreness in my throat but it was like a kind of like a um like a really bad um uh, a cold like a nasty case of a cold um other than that um i had had no complications i haven't felt sick or ill or weird or anything like that um how has your voice improved after the surgery um, well, I was very discontent, discontent <clears throat> with my voice before the surgery. I had a um, feeling that it was way too unrealistic and, I mean, it didn't sound natural. Um, I was straining my uh, vocal cords and um, I ended up by having a sore throat just from that. So, um, after, you know, after the surgery, I'm very satisfied with my voice. Um, there is no strain at all. This is like my normal speaking uh, voice, and um, <clears throat> there's no weird pitches or a loss of range or anything like that. So um, yeah, and it's natural. I guess it sounds natural. At least others think so as well. Um, oh, I've been given um, a set of exercises to do every day. Um, they're, they're supposed to even uh, uh, to improve my voice even further. Um, did you find Botox helpful? Well, Dr. Kim said that Botox will help me remove my tremor in the voice. And um, I don't think, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure how the tremor will affect me after the Botox treatment has, um, the treatment's effects have worn out. So, um... Yeah, I've been given medication for uh, once the Botox um, wears out, wears out, wears off, um, and I'll be taking those. I guess I'll see how it goes.
Um, would you like to recommend Yison's voice center from nasation surgery to others? Yes, definitely. Um, I'd, um, I'd recommend it to any trans woman who's um, straining their vocal cords or just has, a, has difficulty learning uh, or using their feminine voice or, you know, just can't get there. And, um, you know, I mean, now I have a passable feminine voice. Um, which I didn't have before, and there is no scar because it's a non-invasive surgery, and um, it's a, it's a relatively safe procedure because um, you don't you you can't you, they say you can't lose your voice so that's pretty important I think. Okay, thank you for listening. Goodbye.